Hello again, Craig Beals from Beals Science, and today I've got a very special candy here. This is a gummy bear, and we're going to do an experiment that we call in chemistry gummy bear sacrifice. Only we're going to kick this thing up a notch and look at the difference between one gummy bear and an entire serving size of gummy bears. And what you're going to find out is I don't give my kids gummy bears before bedtime, and there's a reason. You're gonna see it here. What is it that we love so much about gummy bears and really any candy? It's the sugar that's inside, the sucrose. Now, the sucrose is what provides us energy. Okay, that's what gives us calories. Each gummy bear here has about seven calories in it. So, I'm gonna heat up something called potassium chlorate. And this is going to break the sugar down, just like what happens inside our body when we eat a gummy bear. It breaks the sugar down and releases the energy, only this chemical is going to allow it to happen a little more quickly than it happens in your body. Smells like burnt marshmallows. You see all that energy come off of there? That's calories. Oh, man. Yeah. Mm. Calories always get a bad rap, but calories aren't a bad thing. They're just a measurement of energy, especially when we talk about foods, how much energy is in that food. Now, to get the energy out of this gummy bear, I needed to use the sodium chlorate. You can see the reaction for the decomposition. That means it's going to break apart into sodium chloride and oxygen gas, and actually a few other things as well. As it breaks apart and releases the oxygen, now that sugar, that sucrose that's inside that gummy bear, can start to react with the oxygen and make fire. And that's what we see, all of the energy coming straight out of our gummy bear. And this is what's going on inside your body when you eat a gummy bear. The trouble is, how many of us just eat one gummy bear? We like to eat a whole bunch of gummy bears. If we stick to the serving size, that's about 17 gummy bears. So let's see what happens when we cause this reaction with an entire serving size of gummy bears. That's going to require more sodium chlorate because we're going to need more oxygen to get this reaction to happen. So I'm going to heat up my sodium chlorate and turn it into liquid form because I have to get that sodium chlorate above 248 degrees Celsius to get it to turn to a liquid and then it has to get above 300 degrees Celsius to release the oxygen and in goes the gum. <laughs> this is more than I expected. The fireball was huge coming out of this thing. I mean, who'd imagine? This is one serving size of gummy bears. Amazing. That's just the serving size. That's 16 gummies. Speaking of counting calories, that's how we count calories. And <clears throat> I think you should stick with eating your gummies and not trying to burn them. We got one more thing to show you. This. Now, if you think one gummy bear with about, oh, I don't know, seven calories and a serving size with 130 calories is cool, imagine with this bad boy, five pounds. That's 6,000 plus calories. Imagine what that'll do. We're gonna find out. But that's in another video. We got a lot more stuff going on here at Beale Science. Got some stuff popping up all around the screen here and we got some burnt sugar on our hands. It smells pretty good. So, check some stuff out. Come and visit us some more. And as always, keep on learning.